Hey guys, it's Lauren, and today I'm gonna teach you how to work Magic Bullet looks and how to make your very own colorings on After Effects. If you're unfamiliar with Magic Bullet looks, it is a plugin that you can apply to After Effects, Sony Vegas, Final Cut, etc., and it allows you to add these really cool filters to your videos. I personally like making my own because I can customize it in very specific ways, and I just like having full control over my coloring. All right, let's get started. So in effects and presets, you're gonna look up magic bullet looks, and it should be right here under red giant color suite. Just drag that into your clip. Then you're gonna click on edit. So if you hover your mouse over this little tools button, all the things you need to make your coloring are right here. So here there are five different categories, but there are mainly four things I consider when making my coloring. In chronological order, first I consider the lighting, then I think about the color slash tone, then I do the more colorful and fun add-ons, and lastly I add a lens. So starting on the subject category, I'm just going to show you some of my favorite tools and how I use them. So first and foremost, this may be the most important one, and this is exposure. So to add an effect to your clip, all you have to do is double tap, and the controls are right here. So exposure basically just controls how bright or dark your clip is. If you want your clip to be brighter, just hold down right here and drag your mouse to the right and it'll increase the brightness of your clip. But if you want it to be darker, just decrease it into the negatives and it'll be darker. I always like to do brighter coloring, so everything that you're gonna see me do with lighting is kind of operating with the intention of having a bright coloring. But again, you can always use the exposure tools to make your coloring darker. There are also two different ways you can remove an effect from your clip after you've added it. You can either click this little power button right here to disable it, but if you want to bring it back, you just re-click the power button, or you can just click on it and press delete and it's fully gone. So the next lighting effect is spot exposure. So this is very similar to exposure, except you're putting the exposure in one very specific place. So I'm going to increase it, and you can move it around so it frames one part of your video specifically. So it's brighter in this area and darker here. When I use spot exposure, I definitely like to put it at the top of the clip. You increase and decrease the brightness the same as you would for exposure, but you can also increase or decrease the radius of where your light is hitting. There are some other controls here, but I don't really use them that much. And there's also a color balance, which again, I don't really use. Another cool lighting effect is grad exposure. It works the same as the other exposures, you just increase the value to increase the brightness, but instead the lighting is applied in a gradient way. Just like spot exposure, it only affects one area, but instead of working as kind of a circular spotlight, it applies the light in a more linear fashion. You basically just move this line to adjust where you want the lighting to be. A little further down in subject, another cool lighting effect is fill light. You increase this value like you would for exposure, but as you can see, it gets brighter, but it has much less contrast than exposure. I really like this because it gives a more soft, dewy look while also brightening the clip. And lastly for lighting, we have curves. So I typically don't use this independent of exposure. It's usually just an add-on when I'm using exposure or fill light, but all you have to do is just adjust these knobs, pull them up or down, and it just changes the level of contrast on your video. So now let's get into color slash tone. So still being in subject, we have hue slash saturation. This one is super, super important and I use it all the time. So I never really adjust the hue, but this is just what it looks like for reference. It completely changes the color of your clip, but saturation just refers to the vibrancy of your clip. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is increase the saturation and as you can see, it becomes more saturated. Next, just below hue saturation, we have warm slash cool. So hence the name, you can either drag it down and make your clip warmer or drag it up and make it cooler. For example, let's say you're editing a show and the lighting of the show is just naturally warm, but you want a cooler coloring. This can completely change the look. So for our last color slash tone effect, I'm actually gonna move over to post and I'm gonna scroll down to the ranged HSL. It's kind of similar to hue saturation where it saturates your clip, but the amount of control just really allows you to get the perfect coloring fit for you. So basically all you do is drag these dots towards or away from the center and it changes the saturation of your clip. This is pretty hard to master, so if you're just starting out, you may wanna just stick to hue saturation. Now let's move on to the colorful and fun add-ons. So we're gonna start in the matte category, and the first one is diffusion. So as you can see, it kind of intensifies the area where there's light, and you can just mess with these values to either increase the intensity or decrease it. For example, if you decrease highlights only, it'll be more of an intense glow. You can also change the color of the flare. So right now it's kind of on this yellow, white, neutral color, but you can just drag your dot anywhere and it'll just change the color. So the rest of the add-ons are in the lens category. So next we have anamorphic flare, and it just adds like a colorful glare to your clip. Personally, this is too intense, so I like to decrease the size. And as you can see, it kind of sticks to where the light is. Just like diffusion, you can always change the color and it gives you a completely different look. Lastly, for the colorful add-ons, still in the lens category, we have haze flare. 
So this is kind of similar to the anamorphic flare, but it kind of covers a larger area and it's definitely softer and fades more nicely into the clip. So you can increase the spillage to add more haze flare or just decrease it to add less. You can increase the softness, which kind of feathers it nicely into the clip. You can also increase or decrease the reach, which is the area in which it applies to, or increase and decrease the exposure. And just like diffusion and anamorphic flare, you can change the color. So now for our last category, the lens. So obviously we're gonna find these in the lens category. And the first is vignette. So a vignette just adds kind of like a dark fade around your clip. So most of the exposure is focused in the center. You can increase or decrease the radius which kind of just adjusts how dark your edges are. You can increase or decrease the strength, which is how much vignette there is. And there are some other things you can change, but I don't really use them. There's also a color adjuster here, but I like to keep my vignette black. Next, we have edge softness. So hence the name, it kind of makes the edges of your clip softer and more blurred. You can increase the blur size, which just makes it blurrier. And just like vignette, you can increase or decrease the radius to kind of control the range of where the blur is. Next, we have chromatic aberration. I can't really explain how this works, so I'll just show you. So I'm just gonna increase this red cyan category, and it kind of adds like another layer to your clip, kind of like a glitchy effect. There are three different color categories. So as I showed you, there's red and cyan, there's green and magenta, and there's blue and yellow. And our last effect is gonna be in the subject category. This isn't really a lens, but it's something I definitely use to kind of bring my edit together. So I consider it like a final lens. And this effect is pop. This basically just sharpens your video, and this is especially essential in increasing the quality of your videos once you post them to Instagram, because I know a lot of us have problems with the quality of our videos. So just increase the pop, and it makes your clip sharper. So now that I've showed you all of these, I'm gonna take you through the process of making an entirely new coloring. So again, remember the four categories. I'm going to start with the lighting. So I essentially like to choose between exposure, spot exposure, and grad exposure, and only use one. So this time I'm gonna use spot exposure. I'm gonna increase it to around 0.7, and I'm gonna bring the lighting more up here. Then I almost always add a fill light, and I'm just gonna increase that a little bit. And that's basically all I'm gonna do for this category. Now for the color and tone, I'm gonna add some hue saturation, which I almost always do. And I like to increase the saturation to around 115. I'm not making it too intense because I also wanna add my ranged HSL. So I like to drag the red up a little bit and the orange and a little bit of yellow. And honestly, it makes a huge difference. So now I'm gonna move over to the next category, which are colorful add-ons. I don't use these a ton, but I'm just gonna add some just to show you how I would incorporate it into a coloring. So I'm actually gonna do some diffusion and I actually like these settings perfectly. I'm not gonna change them. Lastly, I'm gonna go to lens and add a vignette. I'm gonna increase the radius a little bit so it's not as intense. Then I'm gonna go back to subject and add some pop. And I'm gonna increase this to around 50. And then all you have to do is click finished. And the last thing I like to do is decrease the strength of my coloring. So I just decrease this to around 70 and it makes it a little bit less intense. And there you go, that's the whole process behind my colorings. I hope you guys found this video helpful and are confident to go and make your own colorings. Bye.